As mentioned before, a mindset is a way that one thinks. It is possible to hold different mindsets in different areas of your life. In this chapter, you will find a description of behaviors often exhibited by individuals stuck in a scarcity mindset. You can make a list of the ones that you recognize yourself in. Being aware of your challenges will be helpful in identifying what can change in your life to access more abundance. Focusing on the gaps a common mistake that we tend to do in a scarcity mindset is to place all our attention and energy on what is missing in our life. On the other hand, people that live an abundant life are natural at putting their energy on what they want to manifest. By switching your thoughts to be more oriented to what you want, you are painting a clear picture of what it is that you desire. By doing so, it is easier to find what you seek when you know what you want, as opposed to what you know you don't want. Do you find yourself listing things that you are missing in your life? Do you sometimes wonder why you don't have what you want? Are you the type of person that is always focused on getting more? Take the time to write down the areas of your life where you tend to focus more on what you don't have. You don't ask for help. In order to bring more abundance in your life, you need to be open to receive. And that includes receiving help from others. If it is difficult for you to say, yes, to someone who offers you help, you are telling the universe that you are not deserving of receiving from others. The same applies if you have a hard time asking for help. That is often a surprise to many that showing independence in our life can lead to blocking the flow of abundance. This is because if you can't accept help from others, you can't accept a little help from the universe. In order to shift this habit to bring more abundance in your life, try to find ways to ask for help, most people love helping. Accepting someone's help might just make the day. Thinking of your daily life, where could you use more help? For example, do you ask for help at work? If not, what can you do to change that? You are uncomfortable with compliments. Compliments are a form of receiving similar to asking for help. If you are uncomfortable with receiving compliments from others, you are demonstrating that receiving is difficult for you. This can automatically lead you to more scarcity. Try to reflect on how you behave when someone compliments you on your skills. Do you try to find excuses for why you are not that great? If you want to be more open to receive and attract more wealth, start by saying thank you when someone recognizes your value. When was the last time that you've received a compliment? What was your reaction? How did you respond? You dwell on the past. To dwell on the past means that you spend a lot of your precious energy thinking about things that are no longer relevant. That behavior leaves you with little energy to manifest what you want in life. If you want to change or accept your past, you have to make a choice now and bring your focus back to what you can do, now, to feel happier. If you want to have a more fulfilling life, ask yourself, what choice you can do right now to help you access more abundance. What good do you have going on in your life now? People with an abundance mindset don't delay living a happy life based on something they will get later. They find joy in the present. Is there something from the past that occupies your mind a lot? How can you make peace with it and let go of it? You often use the words don't or can't. Our vocabulary says a lot about our mindset. A person with a scarcity mindset will use many limiting words such as can't, won't, or don't. These words have the tendency to nourish a deep belief that we don't have enough and will never be able to access what we want in life. To shift to a more abundant life, pay attention to the words you use. Catch yourself using words that set a limiting belief and reframe them into words that empower you to do something about the situation. Here are a few examples. I don't have enough money to go on a trip with you. I can save some money if we go on that trip next year. I can't seem to attract the love that I want. I want to attract a partner who is supportive and loving. Why can't I be pretty like the people on Instagram? Every day, I will recognize something that I like about myself. I will express more self-love. Now it's your time to learn to reframe some of the limiting thoughts that you have throughout a day. Pick a day and make a point of noticing when you use limiting words such as can't and don't. Make a list of the sentences and at the end of the day, take the time to rephrase those sentences to be more aligned with an abundance mindset. You envy others. When we live with a scarcity mindset, we tend to experience feelings of jealousy and envy. We will often catch ourselves looking at others and wondering why we can't have what they have. One of the thoughts you could often have is wondering why is it that everyone else has what you want and not you. Envy is a feeling that attracts scarcity because we focus on what we don't have. It can also lead to resentment towards some people and ruin relationships with friends and families. 
In order to shift to an abundance mindset, you need to start recognizing the good in your life and stop comparing yourself with others. Start by acknowledging what it is that you like about yourself, others or your life in the present moment. Do you sometimes look at your Instagram and envy the people in the pictures? What do you envy them for? Instead of being envious, take the time to write it in a positive affirmation and set an intention to manifest it in your life. For example, if you see a person that is in Hawaii and you envy them. Your intention could be, I am saving $10 a week for my trip to Hawaii. Feed a sense of urgency. Some believe that being in the present moment means to manifest everything you need now. In fact, it is demonstrated that people who feed a scarcity mindset will be more likely to focus on immediate wants. They feel the need for instant gratification, a sense of urgency that they need has to be met now. This type of behavior can be detrimental to one's life and have a negative impact on one's future. A great example is when an individual receives a sum of money that wasn't expected. Those with a scarcity mindset will have the urge to spend it right away on things that are not necessarily essentials in the long run but something that they really want in the present moment. It is almost as if they think the money will disappear overnight if they don't spend it now. Blame others. Do you feel like life isn't fair? Maybe you feel that a lot of the unfortunate situations you have experienced are not your fault but someone else. If so, it might be time for you to take matters into your own hands. It is basically giving up on your power and leaving all control of your life to external factors like another person. When you give up on your power, it leads you with hopelessness and the inability to change your situation. One of the most common behaviors in people with an abundance mindset is their ability to take responsibility and do something to change the situation. If you don't acknowledge your responsibility in your life, you are unable to feel empowered to do something about improving your life. Make a list of things that you find unfair in your life. Once you have a list, review it. This next step will be very hard but try to see how you can take responsibility for those and what you can do to change the situation. The points above are examples of behaviors that could be limiting you in your life. These behaviors are what we are trying to change with this guide. In the next videos, we will go deeper into what abundance is and how you can access it.